Hello, welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, I am going to tell you the first item on your to-do list when starting a home embroidery business. And of course, you've already bought your equipment, you've already registered and done all the legality stuff on your business. The first item on your to-do list is you want to get all your product samples, your catalogs, your price guides, all your literature on all the major vendors you're going to be using. So as you can see here, this is just some information that I've kind of gathered up here. I have bookshelves of all this type of information here, okay? So I wanna go ahead, share some information that you have to have to have, and it's very important because not only do you get educated as the business owner, but now you have the information to educate your customer or your potential customers and anybody that's looking for information. Okay, let's go ahead, let's set up the GoPro. Now, one of the most important things you wanna make sure is you have your product samples. So a lot of these companies, they make it easy for you to have these samples here. And these are all product samples. So a lot of items that we embroider here at the shop, we do a lot of patches. We use Twill USA. There are so many different types of vendors. You have to go out there and find which vendor matches your specific needs. There's some vendors that specialize in specific quantities, different finishes, and also sometimes a vendor, it depends where they're located too. Okay, so depending on where they're located, that's how fast you will receive your items. Okay, just some stuff to keep in the back of your mind. It's very convenient to have these type of items here where I can see the different colors. And the biggest thing is I can see how these items feel. Also, when it's time to talk to customers, I have items that they can see, that they can touch. This takes away a lot of the guessing game because of course they have all this information online, but of course it's different than when you see it in person. A lot of the a lot of the stuff that you find at Twill USA, you'll find at stalls, but sometimes it's it's good to see the difference between both. It's like the more information you have, the more samples you can see, the more educated you will get with determining the difference between items. For example, a big question that we always get here is, what's the difference between twill and felt? I can explain it. I could tell somebody, hey, the difference is this, this, and this, but it's not the same like just showing them, okay? Showing somebody, hey, this is the difference, okay? If you show an example such as this, all right, it's easy, it's easy to explain something by just visualizing and letting the customer see for themselves. Of course, you start you start getting introduced to items that you would not that you would never have thought about. So I wouldn't even know what Diamond Tool is unless I actually saw a sample and you can see it up close. There's a texture, a diamond texture here, which gives it a very elegant look. And there's a lot of items that you wouldn't know about unless you actually see it. Okay, I'm telling you, it's one thing to see it online and to read a description, and it's very different to actually see it with your own eyes. And a big, big uh, advantage of having these samples is they actually have, some of them have the colors on them. For example, when it's time to order green, right? When you're online, you see all sorts of green, and you can't really tell what's the difference between these greens. Okay, so by having these samples, you can actually see the different range of these greens. Okay, so this, of course, very important. Okay, another stuff that's very important, um, we work with Madeira Thread. Okay, of course, we also have Isocord and Ganold has a uh, thread too that's very popular. All right, so these here, must must have you have to have these these are not optional items that an embroidery shop should have okay these are items you have to have to have and that's because okay there are some companies that require a specific color a specific pantone okay and you have to make sure you're not guessing with the images online every color has a number that way especially when it's time to reorder all right, you're not getting, you're not using a thread that's a shade different because when it's time to put 
these threads side by side, you will tell the difference. Let's talk about just Ganold, okay? Ganold, they got also uh, thread charts, amplifying information. They have a color chart here on all the different color foam that they use. And, okay, so this is all the available colors, the thickness that, okay? So as you can see, classic puffy foam, if you need six millimeter foam, this is what they have, this is the color that they have. And you have a sample here that you can see the difference of thickness between classic puffy foam and dense puffy foam. Also very important here, okay? very important here is your catalogs. This is extremely, extremely important, okay? Such as here, FlexFit, right? We use FlexFit as our main hats. All right, so of course you want to immerse yourself with all this information. You definitely want to educate yourself and see, right? See all the differences, different types of fabric, finishes, all sorts of stuff that is very important when you're speaking to a customer and they start asking questions. Okay, you don't want to start guessing. You don't want to start putting out information that's incorrect. You've already done all your research and you know what items you want to specialize in. Okay, flex fit here, right? This is our department. This is where we live at here, right? 6277, all right? This is the colors that we have available. I'm kind of like old school where I'm used to the East Bay magazines, especially for all those that grew up kind of in the 90s, all right? We were used to looking at catalogs. And to me, this is the best way to absorb information because you see everything here without having to scroll, without being too zoomed in. I get a clear view of everything that's available here. Okay, one of the biggest benefits of having these catalogs, all right, because sometimes it doesn't make sense to go through uh, so many different uh, links looking for items. Sometimes on your off time, you just want to see what's out there, right? You want to see, all right? For example, we do a lot of Carhartt type jackets. We use Sandmore for a lot of our stuff. It's always good to see what kind of Carhartt because of course there's so many different types of Carhartt jackets. You want to know exactly what kind do they make, right? So they have, of course, the classic one that everybody likes. One of the most important reasons for these magazines is these polos. And there are thousands and thousands of different types of polos and you have to know what's the difference between these polos and what features are making these shirts more expensive than the cheaper ones. But of course, if you want the best of the best, okay, you always got your Nikes and you have these here available so you can see all your Nike stuff, right? This is this is my favorite Nike Adidas, my favorite brands that I work with. Okay, you can also get these magazines with retail price, you can get them uh, without the prices. Okay, that's all stuff that you can contact the company and, and they are they are more than happy to send you all this stuff. And you always want to just save stuff it's like we don't do a lot of heat transfer but i still carry this because you never know when you might have a question right about some type of heat transfer type information right and and of course this one here okay so all stitch information here one thing about embroidery is there's so much information you have to know. All Stitch, they, this is where we get a lot of our backing, our cutaway, our tearaway. By you getting these samples here, they're all listed here, Pro Stitch, Shear Stitch. So you can see here, texture wise. So when you're reading the description online, you can actually go to these cutaways and see for yourself exactly what they're talking about. It's all good information you have to have and then this is your 20. So if you ever have to compare tearaway, you could compare it here. You have to flood yourself with all this information. And like I said before, you don't have to memorize all this stuff. Once you have it available to you, you can always reference it, all right? And then I have this one here too, all right? So this is another uh, sample from uh, Tool USA. You always want to have it handy. You always want to have it available just because the time is going to come when you have to show this as an example. Okay, so today's video, 
the first item on your to-do list when starting your embroidery business. As you can see, okay, this is all getting your product information ready. And also this includes getting all your vendors situated. Okay, so once you sign up an account with certain vendors, okay, now you now you have access to all this information. So thank you for stopping by. Uh, I'll try to put I'll try to leave as much information down below regarding uh, which which vendors we use and where to get some of this information. But if you have any questions, if you have any information that you want to add to this talk that we had today, okay, leave them down below in the comments and I will be sure to answer any questions that you have. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.